guys, it's Maddie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing how I did my makeup before social media. There is a tag going around YouTube and it's how I did my makeup in high school, but I'm still in high school. So I thought I would show you how I did my makeup before I knew how to do my makeup. So this is the look. Um, yeah! So if you want to see how to get this sparkly purple eye, and really thick eyeliner. Just keep on watching. Okay, I thought it would be really fitting to show you how I did my hair um, because this is kind of like the length my hair was in eighth grade, which is when like all of this was happening. So I wore a lot of these. I wore a lot of headbands. Sometimes I put bows in my hair, like huge giant bows, like Mickey Minnie Mouse bows. Like it was that bad, but. Um, I, a lot of times I wore these, and this is perfect because um, it keeps my hair back too. Sometimes I would wear like sparkly ones, but the ones that like made lines in your head, I don't know, I just really liked that look, even though it's like really early 2000s, but I mean, I was into it, so. Yeah, that's that, that was the look. This mirror has, what the heck, this mirror is so dirty. This mirror has fallen so many times, I'm like so surprised that it's not like broken already. Um, but yeah, let's get started on the makeup look. So I didn't prime my face, I didn't know that was a thing, like I didn't, I couldn't comprehend that there was a thing that you put on before foundation, like that just didn't happen. Um, I remember for foundation I either used the Maybelline BB Cream, I used that a lot. And then after that I used this Maybelline like um what was it called it was like I I just I was just thinking of it it was like a pot and it was like foam foundation or like um mousse that's what it was it was like a mousse foundation that was like in a little pot and I would like put it on my face and like rub it on and there would be like little crumbles that would come off so, for today, since I don't have my Maybelline BB Cream, or that stupid thing that I use, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. BB Cream. And, yeah. So, I just squirted it on my fingers. Which, this doesn't even work to squirt. I don't know why it's not working. Um, this is so messy. I'm just going to... Now, I, like, can't put anything on my face with my hands. It, like, bothers me, so... Weird. So I would like take it and then I would just rub it on my face. Ah, this feels so wrong. Why? It's just, it's just. <laughs> oh, yes. So I just like. <laughs> blend it <laughs> into my skin <gasps> and I wouldn't blend it down my neck are you kidding me that wasn't a thing yes nothing happened <laughs> literally nothing happened um it looks like I'm not wearing foundation which I guess is a good thing I remember I would like put a lot on and but you could tell that there was makeup on my face and with that mousse stuff, you could definitely tell that there was makeup on my face. I just thought it was so cool and innovative, like, uh, innovative, like, I really wanted, like, I thought it was, like, different, and I was like, yeah, this stuff is so cool, guys, you should all buy it. Actually, I just remembered, I used to do, I used to do my concealer before, not after my foundation. But I'm just so in the habit of it, I just, um, I had a, like, concealer wand, like, one of them, and you just draw it on. But I, I don't remember where it was from because I just remember the it was so old that the writing was like off of it. So I don't remember where it was from. It was like a drugstore one. So I'm just going to use this Instant Age Run by Maybelline. And I used to draw little circles under my eyes. That's all I did. And then I would just blend it in with my finger. Not knowing that wiping back and forth was really bad for your under eyes. Okay, so next what I would do is I would take this Rodan Fields powder 
because my mom used to work for Rodan and Field, so she just like had this powder. This is in light, and I would take this brush, also by Rodan and Fields. I thought it was really cool because you like, I don't know. And then I would just like pack that onto my brush and just like rub it all over my face. Not like pack it in my skin, I would like rub it. And I would just, like I remember I wore so much of this. Like I was like, and my mom's like, a little goes a long way, like you don't need a lot. And I was like, yeah, right mom. Like I'm just gonna pack it on my skin. I'm pretty sure this is exactly how my skin looked. Like I didn't use bronzer for a while. Like, I don't know why, I just like didn't. Um, but I used blush and I had this, this is the Maybelline Master Glaze. It's like the little stick. And so I would just draw it on. I think I would like dot it. I don't, I'm not sure I drew it. And I just rub it in with my fingers. I just was really into the rosy cheek look, you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> yep, that's looking about right. Whenever I film, I like never get everything, so I always have to leave and come back. I just realized that like my dehumidifier is on, so it's probably really loud in the background, but I just turned it off, so it's okay. So I used to use the e.l.f. I used to use the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. But I don't have that anymore. I went through that stuff like like quick, man. I had like so many bottles of it. So I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay because it kind of reminds me of it. And I'm gonna just slap that on my eyelids. At least I knew to prime my eyelids. Like, at least I, I knew that was a step that I had to do. Because I wanted to make sure my beautiful eyeshadow lasts. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so for eyeshadow, I went through a couple of phases. My mom, I remember my mom took me to Sephora. And she was like, okay, like, we're going to, like, get you. Because she noticed that I was kind of, like, into makeup. So she was like, okay, we're going to get you, like, a makeover or whatever. So they gave me this bare mineral eyeshadow. And it's, like, a little... Thing. Can you see that? And it's like you just swipe it on your lid. I used to just swipe it on my lid. And then when I went to Sephora, I got this Sephora waterproof eyeliner that has a little smudger. This is the purple one. I still have it. It's like sparkly purple. When I also bought this eyeshadow, this is Lavender Fields. I still have it. And then I got an eyeliner like this that was like this coppery color and I wore it all the time. Um, and I would like put this on and then I would like line my eyes with it Which didn't really make a difference because this is like the same color But my mom would be like, oh my gosh, your eyes look so pretty like that So that's like what I did first like first, but then I also had this so I would like switch off between The coppery and like this purple. So what I would do is I would take this purple color on my finger and I would just Put it on my eyelids. This is the only color I would wear. Ah! Oh my gosh. I just looked at myself in the viewfinder. So, and my school colors are purple, right? So I was like, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, this is so weird for me. Like I'm literally like looking at my old self. <laughs> and then I would take this purple eyeshadow and I would put it in my waterline. Sometimes I would put black in my waterline, but sometimes I would put purple. And I think I like may have like aligned my upper lash line with this a couple times. But like, I'll show you what I used to do in a second. So I would just, I'm so bad at like water, like watering. I'm so bad at like lining my waterline on camera because like I'm trying to, trying to get you to see it. And then that happens. Okay. To do this. So, gosh! It like won't stand between my legs. So after I did that for my eyeliner, I used this like L'Oreal telescopic. For a while I had like this Maybelline one that like didn't work at all. But I would take it and I would draw like literally Now I'm like so careful about it, but this is not how I did it. I was like, I would literally draw such a supply and just connect it at the end. So 
it literally looked like that. That's what my eyeliner looked like, and it just it covered up my lid, like my entire lid. I just I don't. <laughs> this is exactly what I. <laughs> ah! Okay, this is so weird, and I do not like this at all. Okay, so I didn't do anything for my eyebrows because that wasn't a thing. And my eyebrows were like little commas. Like they were really big and then they went really thin because I would like pluck the heck out of them. So I was just like curl my eyelashes after doing this really cute eye makeup look. Oh my gosh, this is like really bad. And then I would use this Maybelline The Rocket. Literally, this is what I used. And I would just... This is so painful. This is also like a really hard year for me, so just seeing myself, I just don't like it. And I wouldn't do anything on my bottom lashes because like, that just wasn't a thing. Like, And then the final step, because we didn't do setting spray, that wasn't the thing, and no one highlighted their face, I would use this Maybelline Baby Lips. And... This was literally the look I wore every day to school. Yeah, I know, right? This is this is so weird. I'm literally looking at my like past self and I don't like it at all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did not. It was fun to kind of go back in time and do what I used to do on my face and like see where I've improved. Um, but yeah, so oh, I also had braces during this time. So that's probably why it looks a little bit better than it used to. And also just because my skill has improved a lot, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. 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 To my channel. I post videos every week. I love you guys so much and I will see you next week. Bye.